Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, Alexander Usyk, and Dave Allen. Get this. Former Usyk sparring partner gives verdict on Fury game plan. He states, I wouldn't advise him to do that. Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury meet on February 17th to crown the first undisputed heavyweight championship in over two decades. I'm excited about that, guys. I'm excited. Excuse me. Okay. And Dave Allen, who famously retired for a brief period and is in the sparring sessions with Usyk, said that walking the Ukrainian down, he would not advise. He said, I spent a lot of the rounds trying to put pressure on him, bully him. It didn't work. He's a master at dealing with that. People have been doing that for years with him. I think you've got to frustrate him. Lots of feints, lots of movement. You've got to antagonize him. He's not physically the strongest. He's not the biggest puncher. This head, oh, this, his head is where he wins the fights. And I believe Tyson is the only man capable of beating him at his own game. He said, if I was training Tyson Fury, I would go about it with the same tactics he used in the Klitschko fight from experience of sparring both. He said, lots will disagree with me, but I wouldn't advise anyone to mar go marching in on Alexander Usyk. Tyson's been down the last couple fights. You don't want to walk on to a man with that ability and that speed. Start cautiously, lots of trickery. And if Usyk slows down, then that size advantage in the aspect of bullying can come into play. Those are the words of Dave Allen and let me counterpunch. Um, first of all, people, you know me, I respect anyone, I mean anyone, that has been in the ring with both guys, have sparred with both guys, not just a projection or a prediction or, hey, this is my theory. I like the idea of Dave Allen knowing that he's been in there with both, Usyk and Tyson. And when he was saying he needs to go in there like he went in there with Klitschko, he may be on to something. He may have to use a little bit of this along with a little bit of that. He needs to use a, so a definitely body work, take air out of the tire, Stop him from moving the way he normally moves. That's what I would do. But I think John Fury, the father, is concerned with what Dave Allen is concerned with. This whole idea of the Crunk's way of walking it down and bat, 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 you know, cutting off the ring and trying to just break you down bit by bit is not going to work with somebody with that type of footwork, okay? The man is footloose with his footwork, okay? And he knows how to move. You pull that, I'm going to corner you shit, laying on you, hold you, clinch you type thing. It's not going to work with someone like Usyk because he's not going to be there for you to grab. Okay? And him being shorter, you're not going to just be able to lean on him like that because all he's going to do is slip under those shots and may, he may hit you with two or three punches that you don't see. And those type of punches change the duration of the ring generalship of that round that you're in. And if he's able to do that three or four or five rounds in succession, you may leave that ring in the locker room, scratching your head, wondering what the hell happened and how the hell you lost. Easy. He was able to do something that you thought that you were going to have an advantage on. And it's not going to be easy. Okay. But the way he fought Vladimir Klitschko with the herky jerky, with the jabs, with the foot movement, you know, yeah, you have to frustrate him and you have to be just as mobile as him. Now, the question is people and a lot of analysts and they said the same thing. Their theory on Tyson Fury is he doesn't have legs, but I don't think his legs are gone, but we will see because that's only my opinion. That's only my theory that his legs are going to not. I say this like I said to my good friend, Javon Superman Miller, tonight. I said, well, if it wasn't, like I told all you guys, if it wasn't for his legs, he wouldn't have got out the Francis Ngono fight after Francis Ngono laid him on his ass. He had to get up, use that bicycle, and get the hell out of Dodge, okay, and pick up those punches on the way. 
and circle around the big unit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think he does have leg leg movement. I think he still has his legs to a certain capacity. Now, the question is, what type of capacity does he have his legs with? What does he have his legs with, really? You know what I mean? How good is his legs? Are they better than Usyk's? That's the question. Is he able to stick with them, stay with them, faint with them, box with them, move with them? Is he able to do these things? Because if he's not, he's in trouble, okay? That's why, again, back to John Fury saying, hey, the way that Sugar Hill is doing it, it ain't going to work, okay? Besides his bias side point, maybe it is some truth to that because now David, Dave Allen is saying, hey, similar stuff. You don't beat Usyk that way. You beat Usyk like you fought Vladimir Klitschko. Now, here's the thing. Vladimir Klitschko does not fight like Alexander Usyk. He's not a southpaw. He's a guy that's kind of tentative. Everybody was 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 uh, fearing that AJ was getting like a newfound Vladimir Klitschko. You know what I mean? And then Vladimir does have his moments of 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 mediocrity, of 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 kind of being tentative, and he's not really if he can't control the fight, he's not comfortable in the fight. Okay, that's that's Vlad. But Usyk's not like Vlad. Usyk's in your face. Usyk's, he's always trying, uh, 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 prying, bobbing, weaving, moving, jabbing, dashing, dipping, slipping. He's doing all these particular things all at the same damn time, it seems like. Okay? But it's all a formula of how and where to navigate with the opponent he's in there with. Big bangers, okay? Slower guys, taller guys. OK, he's in there with it. But then then Fury holds his own bags of tricks as well. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what Tyson Fury does with him. But you guys tell me if Dave Allen is on to something, being in the ring, sparring with both guys, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.